what's up beautiful people today we're gonna do the goddess faux lock if you like what you see stay tuned and i'm gonna show you just how to accomplish this look now they are super 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 light um and they do last four months with proper maintenance you can redo your edges every month and they will last you a good four months to three months if you're into protective styles then definitely try this out um, I promise you won't regret it. Kayla is my model for today. Check her out. She does have an Instagram page. She's a super, super dope model. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a new face. So, um, yeah, enjoy. So you're going to need six packs of the Free Twist Braid, Deep Twist, 22 inches in a number four. And you're going to need six packs of Marley Hair in Kinky Twist Braid number four. Um, you can buy less packs if you make your braid bigger or more packs if you want them to be smaller but that's what you're going to need so i've already done a whole bunch of single braids around her head with the free twist deep twist hair um and be sure to oil your scalp when doing this style um and then go ahead and braid your hair in single plaits all the way down which is what i did here i'm braiding her hair in single plaits i added no extensions whatsoever but midway through I go ahead and add the hair and I'm just I don't add too much just a small little section as you see just enough to add length to the hair so there I go braiding it all the way down now I'm braiding it all the way down to where her natural hair stops that's it using a crochet needle you're gonna now get your molly hair and put it through the braid. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting my crochet needle through the braid at the root, attach your molly hair and pull it through and pull out the other side. One hand you keep the strand and the braid together and wrap the other strand around those two strands. So that's what I'm doing. I'm wrapping it around our braid and our other part of Molly hair. You just wrap it all the way down till you get to the end. Be sure not to wrap too tight or too loose. You want to make sure you cover your braid, but it's not so tight where it becomes really, really stiff. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up till we get to the end. So right here you see that we have gotten to the end and it's too short. So you can hold that with the actual braid itself and get your long, see this is the short strand and the braid, hold it. Get your long strand and continue to finish wrapping. As you get to the end, it's going to get tighter and a lot smaller and thinner. Um, and as you finish up, you want to go ahead and wrap upwards. So right here, I start wrapping upwards to lock it in place. And once you're done wrapping it upwards, you can get every single strand wrapped nicely. You're going to seal it with some good old nail glue. You don't need much, just a little. And once you put it on like so at the end, you palm roll it in don't use your fingers because it gets really messy and annoying just palm roll it um and that's it it's secure it's not going anywhere and yes you have a faux lock that gets more and more and more authentic as it gets older it lasts four months um yeah it's also it's absolutely amazing but um try it out for yourself and you'll see what i'm talking about I also want to thank my girls, Steffi and EJ, for helping me accomplish this look. Between the three of us, we finished in about four hours.
Thank you all for tuning back in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my Instagram at Revamp Studio Salon. Oh yeah, be sure to check out my previous video on how I achieved these awesome individual crochet fallouts done in less than three hours.